Hello everyone, I am Ajay. Welcome to Online Learning's NFTK Training. Today we are going to solve data structures and algorithm based MCQs. Coming to our first question today. Given the following stack, uh, top to bottom 7, 12, 1, 5, 2. Let's write this 7, 12, 1, 5, 4, 2. Okay. What is the updated content of the above task when passed to the below function? So stack is passed, and if stack is not empty, yeah, it's not empty. S1 equals stack of S7, which means there is no stack. That is S1 here. Well, stack is not empty. So, well, this is not empty. S1 dot push of stack one dot pop. So, stack one dot pop. Okay, we'll take, we'll, cons we'll write this in a stack form. So, 7, 12, 1, I, O, this, this is a stack that is stack one. This one. So S1 dot push of stack one dot pop. So first stack one is popped from here. It will be pushed here. And S1 dot push of five. So five will be pushed here. This is done. Now S1 dot push of S1 dot pop plus S1 dot pop means the sum of these two. So five uh, S1 dot pop means five. Five plus again S1 dot five plus one is twelve. Twelve need to be pushed to here, to here. So twelve will be pushed to this S one stack. Again, iteration will come because this is not empty. So twelve will popped. Twelve will come again here, and uh, five will be pushed here. Then uh, we, need to, uh, we need to pop these two, and the sum of these two will be seventeen. That will be pushed here. Same way, again one will be popped. So one will be placed here and again five both will be popped out six the result will be six and six will be pushed into the stack again so six again five is popped one more five is added here five plus five ten so ten will be pushed into the stack again four four is popped four plus five is nine so nine will be pushed two 2, 2 is pop, 2 plus 5 is 7. So this way, stack will go. This is the S1 stack, S1 stack. Well, not S1 is empty. S1 is not empty. S1 is not empty. Stack 1 dot push of S1 dot pop. So this will be pushed to the stack 1. So stack 1 is presently empty. So if you push, so it will pop from here. So it will be like 7, 9, uh, 10, 6, 17, and 12 so if we check the thing then uh, it's like 12 17 12 17 6 10 9 7 um, 12 17 6 10 9 7 so option D is the correct answer for this question let's move to the next question what does the below python function do using q data structures okay function and q equal to q so here we are declaring a q an empty q then if n equal to equal to zero uh, it's also given as n is non-zero so this condition also false else for i in range of one comma n plus one okay there's some number i equal to n plus one q dot n q of i okay q dot n q of i Mm, okay, so it's like range is generating from 1 to n. So if you, if you suppose n value is 10, just an assumption, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 also because we are we are adding plus 1 here. So this complete sequence will be generated. This will be stored to the, that will be pushed, that will be enqueued to the q. So q will contain like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So a temp is one. That's a variable. Temp equal to one. Okay. Well, q is not empty. Okay, q is not empty. Temp equal, temp star equal to q dot m. In my previous video, I explained what, how exactly this works. If we consider this a star equal to c, that means a equal to a star c. So to represent this in a shorthand, we use this uh, a star c. Uh, these shorthand operations. That is a star equal to c. In the same way, temp hashtag equal to q dot dq means temp equal to temp hashtag q 
क्यू डॉट डी क्यू सो दियर टेम पैस इक्वल टू मीन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वन इन टू क्यू डॉट डी क्यू इज वन सो वन अगेन वन इंटू टू दिस विल बी एडेड एंड टू इंटू थ्री थ्री इंटू फोर सो हम एन एवर एन वी आर गिविंग दैट सो इट इज इट्स लाइक एन इंटू एन माइनस वन इंटू सो ऑन थ्री इंटू टू इंटू वन सो दिस सीक्वेंस इज गेटिंग लाइक दिस सो द कंप्लीट टेम्प विल बी रिटर्न सो यू कैन से दैट दिस इट्स लाइक अ फाइनिंग फैक्टर ऑफ ए नंबर सो Uh, from the uh, options function return binary equal no uh, function return sum of first numbers no function return all this return no function return factorial of a number so option b is the correct answer let's move to the next question what will out of the below code when it is involved with the passing n equal to 5 4 okay it's 4 n equal to 4 okay this looking like a like the code of previous question so that's an empty cube and n is not zero so it go to the first else part for i in range of 1 comma n plus 1 so 1 comma 4 plus 1 so range sequence will be like 1 2 3 4 and q store i into i so q will be having 1 2 3 4 1 4 9 16 because 1 into 1 and 2 into 2 3 into 3 4 into 4 so it's how it will storing and we have again temp equal to one variable This while not is q is not empty. Temp equal temp plus q dot dq. So temp plus temp plus q dot dq. First dq one will be removed plus one. So equal to two. Next dq four will be removed plus four. Six. Next nine will be removed plus nine. Fifteen. Next sixteen will be removed plus sixteen. Thirty one. So thirty one will be the answer for this question. Coming to the next question. You below the following link list. Okay. What is the state of linked list when the following Python function is invoked by passing the head node of the above linked list and five? Okay, so n is five here. Fine. Temp equal to head. Okay, so let's write this linked list one four six seven nine. So here it is. Temp. Temp is head. Okay. Head is equal to equal to one. No. Else i equal to one. Yeah. While i less than n. Okay, i less than five, i less than five. Now I'll call to temp dot get dot get underscore data, which is like uh, temp dot get dot data means temp dot data. So val equal to one. Temp equal temp dot get dot next. So temp is shifted to here to here. Now temp is being shifted here. Head head dot set data equal to val. So head dot head dot set data means, uh, yeah. So head data is presently one and the val value is one. So head will be set to the val value that is again one. Okay, i equal to i plus one. Now i became two here. Two is less than equal to five. It's two. Val equal temp dot get data. Now val is four because temp is at this position and temp equal temp dot get next. So temp will be changed from Here to next location here, and head head dot set data equal val. It was four, so it's setting to the val. So four will be uh, one will be replaced with four. Next, i we can i plus five i equal to i plus one. That means uh, present previous it was two, so it will come three here. So in the while loop, three less than equal to five. Yeah, three is less than five. Val equal to temp temp dot get data. So it's six now. Then temp equal temp dot get next, yeah. Temp will really move to the next location again. Now temp equal temp dot get next over head dot set data equal well. Head dot set data is six, so six will be seted here. Then uh, i equal to i plus one, so it becomes four. Four is less than five. True. Again val equal temp dot data. Now val is seven. Now again, temp equal temp dot get next. Okay, so temp will move to nine here, and uh, i equal to i plus one, so it becomes five now. Sorry, we missed this. Head dot head set, head dot set set on is called data val. So it was six previously, it becomes seven now. So the value is five. Five less than five, it's false. It will break the. 
temp1 equal to head dot get data so again temp1 one more variable which store head dot get data that is 7 and temp dot set data equal temp1 okay so this is the temp1 so um, this will contain value 7 instead of 9 again assumption all defines of the file get method and data answer okay so the answer for this becomes uh the link list has become like seven four six seven seven so seven four six seven seven so option b is the correct answer for this question let's move to the next question consider the below python code process okay uh, in the main we have a stack empty stack and in india australia england south africa has been pushed so india is pushed first india then Australia, then England, then South Africa. This four are done. And process of input dot display. Okay. Process of input. Yeah, this is being output stack. Okay. One more output stack is being kept. Output. Now count equal to zero. When not input stack is empty. This is input stack. Temp equal to input stack dot pop. Okay. So temp will contain South Africa because we are popping it here and for i in temp okay for i in South Africa that means each character is being iterated and South Africa that is uh, it's counting the number of characters so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay so 11 so the count becomes 11 here count equal to 11 for now now output the output stack dot push up str count plus none so str count means we are converting this into str 11 plus what is temp temp is uh, south africa so this is this is like 11 south africa 11 south africa this is done In the next iteration uh england is being popped out then uh, it will be stored to the temp this time it's england now you can note that the count is not again being made at zero so it will continue the count so it will start from 11 again 11 it will start from 11 not from zero so for the 11 uh 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so count will come 18 here and again 18 plus temp so it will like 18 England again Australia uh, popped out so it will become Australia 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 so it will be pushed at 27 Australia then finally India can become 27 now India time equal to India now So 27, 28, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So it will be like 32 India. So the output stack will contain like 32 India, 27 Australia, 18 England, 11 South Africa. So what's the output from top to bottom is 32, 27, 18, 11 in, in India, Australia, England, Africa. So option D is the correct answer. You can see 32 India, 27 Australia, 18 England, 11 South Africa. So let's move to the last question. Consider the below Python code. Okay, the queue, and we have an empty queue here, and we have data like 12, 10, 15, 1, 20. So 12, 10, 15, 120. Q1 equal to Q. So one more queue. Q1, Q2 has one more queues. Now, um, our end range of input queue dot front come input range. So, it is iterating from first to last and item equal to input dot dq. Now, item is mean dq. So, 12 will pop. Item greater than, so we have item equal to 12 now. So, item greater than 12, item greater than 10. Yes, if it is, then we are just uh, keeping it in here. Same way. 
10 10 greater than 10 false so 10 will be uh, kept here now again 15 15 greater than 10 yes so 15 will be kept here then 1 1 greater than 10 no so 1 will be kept here 20 greater than 10 yes so basically we have q1 as 12 15 20 and q2 as 10 1 so as per this c option c is the correct answer 12 15 20 in the q1 and 10 1 is the q1 so this is about this video all the best thank you